Hey, darling, have you prepared my clothes for tomorrow's meeting? It's an important one, as I have to meet the chairman of the company. I need it as soon as possible. Of course I did. Don't worry, all you need is right here for you to use. Oh, you also have a presentation in front of the chairman, right? Remember to bring water along just in case you're thirsty. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that part. I'll bring it along. Thank you, then. Well, don't mention it. It's my duty to assist you with these things anyway. Oh, I forgot. I have to go to the gym right now. It seems that I've gained weight again. Really? Well, actually, you're already fat. It's no use going to the gym. No one can lose weight in just one day, right? Are you sure about that? Wait, what? You're calling me fat, aren't you? Yeah, that's the truth, right? Am I wrong? Well, I know, but you shouldn't say that out loud. You know I'm sensitive about that, right? So what? You're still overweight. Can't you just accept the truth? I've told you a lot of times about that. Isn't that clear enough? But, come on, Bob, not again. You're beginning to make fun of me again. And you're beginning to become too much. Why do you have to always be overthinking like that? Oh my god, overthinking? Is that what you think about me? Your own wife? I told you before that I don't like being called fat or overweight. Didn't you listen? Yes, I did. But I can't help saying them because I don't want to lie. And who are you to order me around like that? My mom? Or my dad? You're nothing but a good-for-nothing wife. Your job is just to serve this family, serve me and my parents. So you'd better be hardworking and do it carefully. Maybe then you would lose some pounds. <laughs> Bob, you're changing your tone. I still remember a few minutes ago you were nice to me. You even thanked me for helping out with your stuff? So? I did thank you. But did I say that I love you? You're ugly and fat. And it's a shame when I introduce you to my friends. Don't you know that? Whoa, hold on a second. What have you just said, Bob? How can you talk to me like that? What's wrong with you? Look, Marie, I'm not insulting you. I'm just telling you the truth. Sometimes, you need a reality check. Stop thinking so highly of yourself all the time. You're a wife, right? And a wife's job is to serve her husband's family, isn't it? Are you serious right now? You think being a wife means I have to serve your family at the expense of my own well-being? That's an outdated and unfair expectation. I have my own dreams and goals and responsibilities. Well, maybe if you focused more on helping me and this family, things would be better. Look at how little you do to support me. It's like you're not even trying. I can't respect someone who doesn't put in any effort. Excuse me? Just because I may not fit into your traditional idea of what a wife should be, doesn't mean I'm not doing anything. I have my own strengths, my own contributions to this family. It's not all about serving you. We're partners, Bob, and that means we should support each other, not belittle or undermine one another. Well, it doesn't feel like we're equal partners when I see you prioritizing yourself over our family. I just want you to step up and do your part, to be more involved, more committed. Is that too much to ask? Bob, respect is earned, not demanded. It's not about blindly following traditional roles, but about mutual understanding and support. I deserve respect as an individual, as a person with my own aspirations and goals. If you can't see that, maybe we need to have a serious conversation about our future of our relationship. Future? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm laughing so hard right now. <laughs> you still think you have a future in this marriage. Well, I'll tell you what. You're gonna be replaced sooner or later if you can't lose weight and be pretty again. Just like you were when I first met you. So, we have a deal? What? Deal? You think you could make a deal with me? You're being unreasonable right now, so I understand it now. You only love me when I'm thin and slim. But now I'm not pretty, so you hate me, right? Now I've gained weight and become a fat woman, so you turn your cold shoulders toward me, saying I don't deserve your respect? Am I that worthless? Worthless? Oh, of course you're worthless, and of no use to me. Having you here in the house is nothing but a shame. My mom also has the same feeling about you. She's dying to see the day you walk out of this house. Wait, what on earth are you talking about? Your mom thinks the same, but she can't. Oh, yes, she can. So mark my words. Lose weight and get pretty. Or else, prepare to get kicked out. What the... 
You're looking down on me because I'm fat? Are you sure? But when we first met, you said that you didn't care about appearances. And you said that as long as I'm happy, that's all. You really believe what I said that day? Really? They're all lies. I just said that to trap you into loving me. What? Ugh. I've had enough of your attitude. Could you just shut your mouth and go? Marie, what have you done with tonight's dinner? Why does it taste like shit? Don't you know that you've made me lose face? Oh, Ariel. Oh my god, at this time? It's time? Why do you have to text me like this? Can't I just leave it until tomorrow? No, I can't. And who are you to order me like that? I'm your mother-in-law, so I have the full right to text you whatever I want. You're just a foolish daughter-in-law, so know your place and do what I tell you. You're as high as a kite. I know you're my mother-in-law, but it's not the reason for you to order me around at nighttime. I'm not ordering, you fool. I'm just discussing tonight's meal. You cooked the meal, so it's all your fault. It's absolutely awful. My friends attended that meal as well. It's such a shame. What will she say about this family now? That I have a daughter-in-law who doesn't know how to cook? Okay, fine, fine. So what's wrong with the meal anyway? Hurry up so I can go to my bed now I'm tired. That's the attitude. So here, listen clearly, young lady. What have you done with the chicken soup? Its flavor is disgusting. I almost vomited after tasting it. Did you do it on purpose? So as to make fun of me? Wait, what? Of course not. I even asked you to taste it when it was done and you said okay. But when I brought it to the table, the taste was much more salty than it was in the first place. I'm suspicious that someone had added salt into my soup. And it could be... Are you thinking of me? I'll never do it. Stop saying that nonsense. Don't put all the bad things on me. Do you mean that I'm the one who ruins your soup? Ugh, how dare you. I haven't mentioned a word about you. Why do you have to make a fuss about it like that? Or you really did it. You're so angry because I'm pointing you out as a sus... What? You're a crooked woman, I have to say. I'm speechless with a stupid girl like you. You don't know your place in this house. So I understand why you could say all these things to me. I'm disappointed, but not surprised at all. So don't think that you could let me down with your irrational accusations. You don't have any evidence, so you can't do anything to me. <laughs> Ugh, you. You. Oh, I forgot. Two days later is your birthday, right? Well, I can't think of anything to give you. You? Give me? Are you really my mother-in-law? Did somebody hack your body? You just change like the weather. First you insult me and see me as your useless slave. Now you tell me that you want to give me a gift on my birthday? It's unbelievable. And even much more than that, it's impossible. Don't act like you're a good mother-in-law. Come on, Marie. I'm always a good mother-in-law, right? Don't think ill of your mother-in-law. That's not good at all. Well, that's why I decided that I'll give you a surprise. A really beautiful surprise, of course. And it really fits you also. <laughs> oh, and remember to wear nicely. And lose some pounds also. Don't make others laugh on our face, okay? What do you mean? Well, with your hideous appearance, no one can have enough courage to get close to you. And it throws dirt on my face as well. Hideous appearance? You mean I'm ugly and fat? No, no, Marie. I didn't say anything. You said it yourself. I'm just pointing out the obvious. <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? So that's really what you think of me, huh? You think I'm ugly and fat? Oh, bingo. That's exactly what I mean. Congratulations on figuring it out. I can't believe you think of me in such a horrible way. I always thought you would understand me, especially since you were a daughter-in-law yourself. But it seems I've been wrong about you this whole time. <laughs> oh, now you finally see it. I can't believe you've been so naive and stupid all along. It's about time you realized it. How dare you speak to me like that? I deserve respect and understanding, not mockery and insults. It's because we have our differences doesn't give you the right to belittle me like this. Oh, poor Marie, feeling all offended now? Maybe it's time you face the truth about yourself instead of living in denial. You can't expect everyone to coddle you and agree with everything you say. You know what, Ariel? It's clear that you're not interested in having a mature conversation or showing any empathy. Your dismissive attitude and hurtful comments only reveal your own insecurities and lack of compassion. Oh, I couldn't care less about you and your silly little affair. Your accusations about me are just as dumb and stupid as you are. But hey, lucky for you, I'm such a nice mother-in-law, right? I'll never stoop down to argue with my dear daughter-in-law. <laughs> your attempts to belittle me and assert superiority are pathetic. I'm not on the same level as you in your narrow-minded perspective. But I refuse to let your negativity define me. I'm proud of who I am, and I won't let your toxic behavior bring me down. Oh, listen to you, Mrs. Self-Righteous. It's quite amusing how you try to play the victim while pretending to be all high and mighty. We all know your true colors, Marie. 
and they're not as pretty as you seem to think. I won't let your attempts to undermine my self-worth succeed. I am much more than the judgments and insults you throw at me. I will surround myself with people who uplift and support me rather than, rather than those who thrive on negativity and tearing others down. Well, good luck finding those people, Marie. I doubt anyone would want to be around someone as delusional and annoying as you. But hey, you do you. Just don't expect me to be a part of your self-centered world. Your presence will not be missed in my life, Ariel. I'll continue to focus on my own growth and happiness regardless of your opinion. Remember, happiness is uplifting others, not tearing them down. <laughs> Ariel, have you lost your mind? Why did you treat me this way? What's wrong? Oh, I forgot. Have you had fun there on your birthday? I'm sure you did, right? <laughs> Are you impressed with the gift we prepared for you? It's a beautiful one, isn't it? Well, if you want to thank us, then don't mention it. That's our true love for you. You're crazy. How could you still be happy after making fun of me like this? Don't you remember what you gave me? You gave me a pig, right in the middle of the party, in front of others' faces, really? I don't see anything wrong with that. Is that a dangerous crime or what? No, so don't talk with that tone, like I'm at fault. It's rude, don't you know? Stop your victim-blaming game. I can see through your true cunning face. It's you who brought the gift. You want to make me lose face before the guests? I know I'm fat, but do you have to go to this length? What's the point of doing it anyway? Oh yeah, I did it on purpose, Marie. So what? As long as I can make you suffer, it's just fine by me. I hate you, you know? You're nothing but a loser, a freeloading pig. I brought this pig to you so you can have friends to play with. <laughs> Don't you understand how hurt I felt at that moment? It wasn't just about being hurt. I felt completely humiliated. You've made me feel disappointed in you and our relationship. I never expected you to stoop so low. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Who's hurt here is me. I'm seriously hurt by your presence in this house. You know nothing but give me trouble and make my life miserable. It's unbelievable how you can twist the truth and play the victim. You deliberately brought that gift to embarrass me. And now you're trying to turn it around and make it about you? Your lack of empathy and understanding is truly mind-boggling. Oh, poor Marie. Always playing the victim card. You think you're the only one going through hardships? Think again. You bring nothing but trouble and chaos into this household. And I'm tired of it. Your words only reflect your own bitterness and resentment. I may have my flaws, but I have never intentionally hurt you like you hurt me. I had hope for understanding and support but it's clear that that's too much to ask from you. Understanding and support? Huh? Don't make me laugh. You're the last person who deserves any of that. I've had enough of your drama and constant need for attention. It's time you face the consequences of your actions. I won't let your toxic behavior define me. I will find strength within myself and seek support from those who truly care about me. Your attempts to bring me down only show your own insecurities and unhappiness. I will rise above it all and create a better life for myself, regardless of your negativity. Stop with your blabbering. I've heard enough. Blah, blah, blah. You're beginning to play the victim once again. But I'll never be taken in another time. <laughs> Seems like you never liked me, even just a little bit. Just because I'm fat? I'm done with this whole mess. I'm tired of being your daughter-in-law. I'm tired of being mistreated just like a good-for-nothing slave. Then I'll divorce Bob. There's nothing pulling me back. I just want to get out of this house. Right now. Really? That's good news. If you want to do that, then do it right away. I'm looking forward to the day you get the damn out of here. Divorce it is. My son's been really tired with you these days. I'd be super glad if you could please free him of you. Hurry and sign the divorce paper. Okay, just give me the divorce paper. I'll do it right away. I'll free your son and free my life as well. Fine, Marie. I'll just call Bob right away and hand you the divorce papers. You're finally making the right decision this time. <laughs> After all, you're such a stupid pig, so it's only fitting that your husband would be just like you, right? Birds of a feather flock together. Isn't that what they say? <laughs> your attempts to belittle and insult me only reflect your own insecurities, Ariel. It's clear that you have no respect or empathy for others. Your words are hurtful and unnecessary. Oh, poor Marie. Can't handle a little truth. Well, maybe it's time you faced reality. You think you're being so high and mighty, but in reality, you're just a pathetic excuse for a human being. I won't let your toxic words define me. I know my worth and it's not determined by your hurtful comments, your attempts to bring me down to only show your unhappiness and bitterness. Bravo, Marie. Bravo. Look at you, acting all righteous and noble. But let me tell you, no one's buying it. You're just as pathetic as you've always been. And nothing will change that. 
Your opinion of me doesn't matter anymore, Ariel. Taking steps to free myself from this toxic environment, build a better life. I won't let your negativity hold me back any longer. Oh, how brave of you, Marie. Running away from your problems instead of facing them head on. It's no surprise that you're taking the easy way out, just like you always do. Leaving this toxic situation is not running away. It's taking control of my life and choosing happiness. I deserve respect and love, which I won't find in this toxic relationship. I'll find the strength to move forward and create a better future for myself. Marie, Marie! Hey, it's me, your ex-mother-in-law. How are you these days? Well, it seems that you're living a really good life, aren't you? Ex-mother-in-law? Ariel? Yes, it's me. Oh my god, hi. It's been five years, why do you even call me? We cut ties, there's nothing to say for now. And don't call or text me. I don't want to meet you or your terrible son anymore. I know you don't mean that, do you? You've always been eager to meet us again, right? I know you still have love for us somewhere. You can't deny that. Sorry, but I'm living a really wonderful life with my rich husband. Are you tantalizing me? Anyway, you're living in a rich family, and with a rich husband, too. Don't you think you should pay me something? Without us helping you in the past, you wouldn't be as happy and rich as you are right now. Don't you think we deserve something as a thank you gift? What? Have you gone mad? Just think what you did to me. On my birthday, you gave me a pig. Even worse, you forced me to divorce with Bob. You two joined hands to kick me out of the house without even caring about my situation after that. But it's all in the past. Couldn't you just let bygones be bygones? I didn't mean it at the time. I really love you, you know it, right? Oh yeah? Just stop with your lies and begin to live like a human. Aren't you humiliated? Come on, Marie. You can't say this to your ex-mother-in-law. Okay, fine. So what do you want? What's the reason why you have to call me at this time? So... The thing is, Bob did marry a new wife, and she's a really pretty one. However, she knows nothing but roaming around and ordering me just like I'm her maid. Moreover, she also takes advantage of us to get the money she wants for her own entertainment. She does nothing, and also contributes nothing to his house, but she still demands a lot from us. What about Bob? He's always been dreaming about having a beautiful wife anyway. He must be really happy. Not at all. He's also tired, just as I am. He also wants to get rid of her, so we have to come back to you for help. You married a really nice and famous husband, so that's why you have to help us. We're broke now due to this naughty daughter. I know you can help us, right? What? You kicked me out and now you want me to help you? What kind of logic is that? I'm too tired for your unreasonable attitude. We cut ties, that's the story. Now I don't want to have any relation with you, so please stop texting and calling me when I'm trying to calm down, will you? No, you can't leave us like this. We used to be really nice to you in the past, and this is how you repay us? That's just unbelievable. Oh my goodness, Ariel. I can't even believe what I'm hearing right now. You think throwing a guilt trip at me is going to make me change my mind? After all the drama and toxicity that surrounded our relationship, you actually have the audacity to demand my help? Well, Marie, I thought you were a decent person who would be there for us when we needed it. But I guess I was wrong. I can't believe you're being so heartless and selfish. Heartless and selfish? Look who's talking. You were the only one who constantly belittled and undermined me when I was part of your family. You made me feel like I wasn't good enough, and now you expect me to come to your rescue? I've had enough of your manipulative behavior. Manipulative? That's rich coming from you, Marie. You always played the victim card and made everyone else out to be the bad guy. But guess what? I see right through your facade now. Facade? You have no idea what I've been going through since I left your toxic household. I've worked really hard to rebuild my life and find some peace. Last thing I need is to be dragged back into your chaotic mess. But, but, we at least used to be really close together, didn't we? Please, Marie, I'm begging you. Can you find it in your heart to show us some mercy and help us rebuild our lives? We used to be a team, and I believe we can do this together, can't we? You liar. How dare you come to me with your empty words and expect my help? You despicable old woman. A leech. I understand that you're angry, Marie, and I deserve your anger. But please, put aside your resentment for a moment and consider our desperate situation. We can't handle this new daughter-in-law any longer. We're drowning and we need your help to stay afloat. Like I care. <laughs> After everything you've put me through, you expect me to come to your rescue? You must be out of your mind. I know I've made mistakes, Marie, and I can't change the past. But I am genuinely pleading with you now. We're on the verge of losing everything we've worked for, and we have nowhere else to turn. 
Please find it in your heart to show us some compassion and help us find our way back on track. Nah, not gonna happen. Not if you don't have anything else to say. I'll just hang up the phone now. Don't even come find me or else. I'll have no resort but to sue you for disturbing my privacy. Marie, you can't do this to us. Marie! After that incident, I was so done with Miss Ariel's drama that I made a firm decision to sever all kinds of connections with her. I blocked her and her dear son from my life. And let me tell you, it was such a liberating feeling. As time went on, I heard through the grapevine that Bob ended up divorcing his new wife. Talk about karma, right? Seems like he didn't have any plan to jump back into the marriage game anytime soon. Let's not forget about Ariel's business. Ever since I walked out of their house, her business took a nosedive. She couldn't even seem to recover from it. It's funny how things can change so quickly, isn't it? They tried to reach out to me numerous times, but I was like, nope, not gonna happen. I made it crystal clear that I had no intention of replying to any of their desperate attempts to get back into my life. 